All right, still still going on the uh, look over for rust. Now I did the uh, walk around outside. Let's go inside here. Now the interior was pulled, so nothing is really stable. Oh, I guess I got a couple bolts in this when I was moving around on trailers. But you know that seat's just up. Um, the console's not bolted down. Half the trim and everything's still in the back seat here. Apparently, I put the uh, quarter panels, uh, all this stuff back up before I moved to cross country. I guess I was being somewhat conscious of the car. Um, but I ripped the uh, the dash apart. I took the HVAC stuff out. Started taking uh, some of the interior pieces of the dash apart. So all this has started to come out at one point. Um, there's the controls for the AC down there. And there's also my floor, the shop floor. You see it through there. There you go. That's a better shot through that way. So I know at least I need a driver side floor pan. The passenger side looks like there's a lot of surface rust. And if I recall, there's a few pit holes up in there, but pinholes, I'm not sure what I call it, a pit hole. Anyway, uh, so there's some pinholes up there that uh, may need to be done. So at the very least, this, the center hump is really good. No issues at all. Still got the factory paint on it, no rust. The seat buckets are good. All the way back to the back seat, there's no issues. So at the very least, I'm gonna do floor pans. I may do a full floor pan, may do a partial floor pan. Um, it all depends on what I find when I actually grind that out. When I was young and dumb, you can see it over there. Half of that on the ground is not surface rust, it is sand. I got this uh, sandblaster, I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, hey, I want to get some of this rust off and see what's going on. If anybody has ever actually tried to sandblast inside of a car, A, you're stupid. Just straight up stupid. And you don't use sand. I learned this the hard way, because as I started doing it, I was getting pelted with sand, and that hurt like hell. And the next thing I knew, it was actually tearing up more things than anything, and I've had cups of sand, like literally cups, like measurement cups of sand all over, and all I did was spray for like literally a minute or two. I got more sand to clean out of this car than the rust that was there. That's never going to happen again. I'm just going to grind the stuff up or cut it out and replace it. But anyhow, this is uh, the interior so far. It uh, looks like we got some uh, mold or mildew starting on those back seats. So hopefully I can clean those up or maybe replace them. The headliner is in excellent shape. I think the guy replaced the headliner when he had the paint job done. But no, that doesn't make sense because the trim was never taken off the windshield, so that didn't happen. But at some point, this headliner was redone and is in good shape. However, <clears throat> I'm going to have to pull the thing off um, because I'm going to do a full restoration on this thing and take care of bodywork, everything else. This uh, headliner, it's a shame to pull it, but I'm going to have to do All it. Alright, let's make an amendment to what was going on in these floors on this side. They're not as bad as the driver's side, but I got some holes in there. Now this one's actually supposed to be there, but these, uh, those are not. So I got some, some, a little bit, I got some surface rust. Hey buddy, part of the video? Yep, yeah, so I'm just going over the rust and the things I'm finding, bud. That's all. So we got a better shot of the rust on that side. So driver's side definitely needs a floor pan. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just going to do patch panel over here or what. I got to dig out the sand, dig out everything else. But everything back there looks good. I should get a flashlight or something in here just to show you guys. But it looks decent back there. And uh, same for back there. I'd have to get a light in here. Not the best light for working inside the car right now, but uh, if you've been following any of my videos, this uh, shop didn't even have power when I bought the house, and we brought power out, and then we slowly started putting light fixtures in, and uh, now at least I have some light to work. And obviously, if you can hear it in the background, I took priorities and not only got light, but got a stereo. All right, 